Hello everybody and welcome back to Dwarfcraft. This is Anvil Dude. And this has not had much done to it, but I've been a bit of a busy bee <clears throat> off camera. Now, last episode, I had said that I died twice off camera. Unfortunately, I died a third time. <clears throat> We have three new tombs. I was wondering about that. Oh, I'm going to need to replace those. <clears throat> there we go. That's better. Yeah, I died. A third time off camera. And so... <clears throat> had to make myself three new tombs. Tomb number one. I'm pretty proud of this one, actually. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Although it apparently disagrees with my frame rate for some reason. I don't know why. <clears throat> Tomb number two is upstairs because I'm running out of room on the first floor down here. Similar columns, some uh, some kind of a, a glass glass carpet, or not glass, gold gold carpet going up to the uh, sarcophagus. Why are my frames so low? This is weird. It's usually not like this. Wow. Is there something going on? Are there too many entities? I don't understand this. Why is this... Hmm, that's weird. Why am I getting so many... Oh, this... What? <clears throat> okay, let's see. Game renderer, unspecified. And tick. Are the only, are the big things now? If I do this, do I get any particular jumps? I'm gonna keep this open for a bit just to see if I can't find out why. Ah, so weird. Anyways, <clears throat> this is the final tomb. You can't actually get in there. I've sort of sealed it off, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the marker right over there. I think that's pretty cool. <clears throat> but happy days. We actually have 30 experience now. Which means that we can enchant a diamond pickaxe and see what we get. And this should be a full 30 levels because I have the four book bookcases, that is. No lapis cost because this is 1.7.10 still. Well, let's find out what we got, huh? <clears throat> Efficiency and unbreaking. That's not terrible. And honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and use this. I may, like, what I'd really like would be a, <clears throat> not mending, because this, again, is an older Minecraft, but a repair, which is a thomcraft. I need my excavation focus. Repair, which is a thomcraft enchantment that repairs objects over time that have the enchantment on them. <clears throat> And it is essentially the 
mending of this game. It's slower than mending, but it's a constant overtime thing that doesn't need to be, like, fed. <clears throat> so it works a little bit better in that regard. That is an empty chest. Let's see what happens. And the unbreaking should be really helpful as well. Hmm. Well, already 11 there. That's pretty good. Something else that has happened is this seems to have stopped spawning things. I don't know why. <clears throat> like, I really don't know why. Also, weird thing that happened that is happening. I think my wand... Eh, it might be. Because Equal Trade is supposed to use um, Terra and Ordo and Perdicio. But I'm not sure it is using those, so let me check. Okay, it is using those, just not very much at all. Well, that's pretty cool. And again, my frame rate is just being weird. Oh, don't want to eat more of that. In any case, today, today, I don't have much to do today. I can work with this guy. I, I guess I was kind of thinking that the... Uh, Wow, it's already got a stack. That's actually really fast. I guess I was kind of thinking that working with that guy... Did that injure me? That was weird. I guess I was kind of thinking that doing the enchantment would take a little bit longer, but I suppose not. It was an incorrect assumption. Oh, right. Um, let me check down here. We need more Ignis. And we may as well get more Perdicio. That's what I can do. Yes, I know what I can do today, Pinky. I also need to find out what the silver blocks end up looking like. Because they could be cool. <clears throat> One of these days I'm going to need to redo this place. I may even just tear this whole set, set up down because it's honestly not working out so well. I'd rather have separate burners for each type of object, like how we have the fire shards here. Oh wow, I have magic in there. Better empty that. have an empty jar here. There we go. And hey, look at that, Ignis. That's just what I need. But I don't want to be burning fire shards right now. I'd rather be burning a bit of coal. Also, let's get that colored cobblestone back to normal. Lots and lots of Ignis. But that also has Potentia, which I can use in my backpack. Only 38 left right now. And I have, uh... This guy. I do have a full jar still, too. Mm -hmm. I need to get a system set up with a one-way or a suction device or something that would allow me to drain from one jar into another jar. That'd be handy. There we go. Lots and lots of Ignis. 
Lots of potentia. But yeah, what I want to do <clears throat> is I'm going to want to set up basically a separate... I may as well go grab those. I want to set up a series of smaller stations. Essentia stations, as opposed to the sort of one massive station. I need more... Hmm. I need another jar. For that. But yeah, as opposed to the one massive station, I want to set up multiple smaller stations that can each have their own stuff going on, you know? Flight is handy. Very handy. Fill with ignorance again. Cool. And right, I need a empty jar or a jar that I can put. I already got Fabricio. Yeah, void jar. Don't need the void jar right now. Okay, looks like everything is empty. Cool. Close you up, leave you guys here for now. Take you and stick you in there. And need another jar. Not metallum. Where is my metallum anyways? Right there. Don't know what I'm going to do about that. But I need another jar to go grab the stuff out of the other thing. Right, I got these guys. Lots of Metallum, Vitreous, Vinculus, Ultus, Femmes. <coughs> eh. In any case. Yeah, one of those deaths was from an Enderman. I was going after a creeper and looked at an enderman funny and he took wrong to that proceeded to wipe my face with the floor or wipe the floor with my face whichever was cleaner at the time Alright. Jeez, I don't like the Endermen. They're meanie pants. Oh, right, I've got my Ignis. Perfodio, that's the mining one, right. Put this back down here. I wonder if I'll ever be able to automate this. I imagine eventually. I think even with just production of coal, I might just have a void jar of potentia. Just get that. Or maybe use the nether... Nether stuff with nether bricks? I don't know. Blaze rods? Blaze rods have a... Oh, I've not scanned these? Ah! Oh, and they have magic on them. That could be handy. I've not scanned jar labels either? What am I doing? Oh, can't learn anything from them. Okay. Gotta keep plopping down that uh, cobblestone as well. Actually, let's go check on how the cobblestone 
production is doing, shall we? Yeah, there's a lot of things that produce ignis. So there are a lot of things. I'm not going to worry about you right now. And that's barely damaged. That is fantastic. And woo, look at that cobblestone. Oh, that's nice. Hey, Zombos. Goodbye, Zomba. Goodbye, Zomba. <laughs> my house. My house is a trap for you. But not me. Because I can fly. Wee. Slowly. Oh boy, I'm going to need to work on that as well. Let's take this blaze right out of here. Stick you there. Along with you and you. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Don't don't fall through the floor. Was that in one of these episodes where we discovered the um, iron golem stuck in one of the furnaces? That was funny. Like, haha, -ha, like a clown funny. It amused me. Grab this gold up. Gold is nice. Oh, that's right. I can start. Oh, that's the big news. I completely forgot. I have new mods installed. And there's some neat ones. Uh, one of them I'm going to need to figure out before I can actually use it. And that is the Pistronics mod. Which I believe Etho was playing with in one of his worlds. And it's an interesting little mod. Makes for basically just some kind of more advanced piston mechanics. Which is about all I'm looking at it for, just so that I have those as options. I have no idea how to make any of those, though. Is it maybe like... Like this? Do you have to, like, have the piston without the piston head? Or something? Maybe? Close. Uh, redstone. Here it is. I'm wondering if that's it. Nope. Okay, I have no idea how that way. What? I'll. I. Anyways, Pastronics is one of them. Another one is immersive engineering. It's a bit techy, but I figure this is Dwarfcraft. I can survive having massive rock crushers and water wheels, and maybe some electrical lines. I haven't decided exactly how much I want. I'll probably do the water wheels for power generation, just because they look cool. Maybe stick a windmill up top. At the very least, I can use the, uh, use the stuff for decoration. A void jar of arbor. Do I already have a void jar of arbor anywhere? I might. Yep, I have two arbor void jars. Uh, I don't need this much arbor. I may end up having to just... I may just end up... I, yeah, I think I'm going to end up uh, 
uh, just emptying this jar. There you go. Start chugging away. Fodio, do 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 for digging. Uh, don't need that much Terra. I honestly don't need any of these things. So more Arbor, and I got some Fricantio. That actually could be handy. Uh, what do I want to do though? This is such a cool system though, and it lets me just like maneuver things from any angle. It's great. But I guess I do want to uh, change it up then. Yeah. Because I will want more of these sorts of systems. Things where it's just humanus. I can just burn up rotten flesh if I want and not have to worry. This is a nice one for anything that is wood and one or two other things, so I think I might leave it like that. Except... Yeah, I can always just stick a jar label on something if I need to. I don't need those tubes right now. Okay. Well, how is this room shaped up here again? It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's just straight up that way. I guess I'll just keep expanding this room down here and work through that way. I suppose. I also need to get my light spell back, or find another way of making light balls. Or get lots more candles or something, because right now I have no placeable source of light on me. Which is an issue. And why is there gravel there? What? Well, I guess that's the trouble with having a 3 deep floor, is that occasionally you'll get gravel. Huh. Interesting. Stick those up there. Good enough for now. Yeah, I definitely need something to light this place up then if I'm going to keep on digging it out. Um, I guess just keep putting... Furnaces and furnace and alembic setups in various places down here. Just make it kind of like a messy factory floor, I guess. And this is just crafting tables and other single. Yeah, this will just be single item stuff. Over here. Crafting station, good to have. Yeah, okay. two things. One of these needs to be... There we go. And that way I can get out the side there and out the side there. If absolutely necessary, I can go over the top someplace with another one. And I can slap another guy down just like here. Maybe. like this, and then have stuff on either side. Okay. I guess. Uh, I just, I don't know what to do about this area. Heck, I don't know what to do about this episode in general, so I guess it's not too weird that I don't know what to do about the actual area that I'm working on. I'm at a bit of an impasse. What I might even end up doing is just recording me 
sort of casually playing for a while um, over the next couple weeks, and then just edit bits out as we go along. Because right now... I feel like about the most exciting thing we can do is work on the darn filling in place. Doop. You know? putting stone in here. I think I might actually just cut it here for today because I wasn't, I was not prepared for this episode and so it's a little bit, a little bit boring, I will admit. Heck, I'm a little bit bored just recording it. So yeah, I think that I'm going to cut it here for today and we will figure out where to go from here. Oh wait, no, um, last new mod and one that again I need to do uh, research for the Waystones mod. Which essentially will give me teleporters. It should be fairly compatible, I hope, with the rest of the mods. And it's a nice kind of magic mod answer to how everyone seems to always like using the portals mods <clears throat> in their mod packs as large scale transport without getting into the you know it's a more mystical version without getting into the mistcraft systems because as cool as mistcraft is I really don't want to have to faff around with books and dimensions and crystal shards and libraries and stuff, especially considering that the libraries are world gen, and those are some of the best ways to get new terrain generation features. So... Yeah, I guess that'll be it for today. This has been Anvil Dude. I'll see you next time, hopefully with a bit more going on. Yeah, have a nice day.